Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to teach you how to build a basic modern house in The Sims 4. All right, so jumping into the game, this is the world that came with uh, The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. And I like this world because one of my builds actually came with the game. I was very excited to be included in this pack because uh, this one over here is actually by me. And this is a good example of a modern home. That's kind of the look and feel of what we want to create. A modern or contemporary home is something that isn't traditional. And traditional is often a home that has ornamental aesthetics to it or it, it's got a lot of detail to it. Whereas a modern home, I think the best way to think about it is it's usually very geometric and to kind of think of it like working in a grid. Lots of boxes is good. So if you can build a box in The Sims 4, you're definitely on the right track. We'll just build something really simple today to kind of communicate to you the look of a modern home. And by all, me, all, by all means, you can always look on Google Images to see different modern homes as well. But anyway, let's let's get into this. So for example, uh, if, if I asked someone to build a house in The Sims 4 as quickly as they could, they would probably do something like this, just a box with a roof on it. Now this could be made to look more modern, all right? Even just from something as basic as this because there's things we can simplify about it. Number one, this, this roof pattern is kind of traditional looking. If I wanted it to be modern, I would get something more simple, maybe just a plain black roof like that. The other thing that's noticeable is there's an overhang here and that I would describe as being an extra detail. So we want to get rid of that detail. We strip it back like this. And already it it's looking a little bit more modern in my opinion. I would even lower this down a little bit to make it look more like geometric, I suppose. So little changes like that, taking away the extra overhangs, any patterns, making it more basic. That's exactly what a modern aesthetic is. Let's bulldoze this and actually build something that's kind of modern looking. So let's go ahead and just, you know, do a bit of a rectangle. Now, I want us to focus on geometric building today. So what I like the idea of us doing is just making lots of rectangles and squares. So let's just have a little bit of fun with that. Let's just have a couple of boxes coming off and do whatever you like. I might just, honestly, I am making this up as I go <laughs> right now. I have no idea what this is gonna turn out like, so hopefully it turns into something good. And, and this is kind of boxy. I don't even know what this is. It's kind of like a weird J shape. All right, let's, let's make this look like a modern home. Let's rise it up a little bit, let's lift up this foundation. Because this is a little bit detailed, I'm gonna just square it off by creating the balcony over here. In terms of roofing, a flat roof is a really good way to go for a modern home. So I'm gonna get this new platform tool and just place it on top. And I'm just gonna tie it in all together by chucking it over most of the build, like this. And I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker as well. Already we're kind of getting this modern box in shape. And then over here, I'll show you another roof that's really good in modern builds, which is this half gabled roof. Gabled roofs, hipped roofs, half hipped roofs, octagonal roofs. They're, they're definitely more traditional, whereas this roof is kind of, you know, I feel like it's more modern, especially if you lower it down a bit, if you take off the trims like we did before. And yeah, it's looking very geometric now. I'm also gonna go with a plain roof. Put a roof trim on, but put one that isn't decorative. You know, we just want it to, to really just frame the roof in a boxy way. I'm even gonna make it look a little bit more streamlined by lowering it. One of my favorite things to do with a modern build is to do what I call window cutouts. So that's literally cutting out where a window is going to be just like this. So we could put two singular ones here. The base game windows are really, really good to use. I mean, that to me is kind of modern looking. Or you could even just make it a big simple plane of pane of glass. You could get the double base game window and just put it in like that. Or another way to cut away walls or like cut in a window might be on the corners. So you can cut the two corners away and do something like this. There you go. So it's just very simple geometric actions. In terms of steps, like I would just go with something that ties into the build really easily. Even this lower part has a trim on it. So let's uh, just make it as blank and plain as possible. And then in terms of wallpapers, simple is best again. I mean, a lot of homes are just plain white that are more modern. If you want to mix it up a little bit, I would go with like basic vertical or horizontal woods with basic bricks. Reclaimed woods can also be 
quite a modern thing too. So maybe we can paint this section of the house with the reclaimed wood. We could go a black masonry in the middle here. And maybe this piece here, maybe this can be uh, more of a, a modern clean brick look. In fact, for this video, I'm even gonna strip this wood back to be more simple. Let's go with this. Now with these platforms, we can use a half wall if you want to paint the outside of them and not use the foundation color. And because I kind of want to match this to the black wallpaper we've used, I'm just going to paint it like that. Keep it simple with a trim that matches it as well, both the under trim and the over trim. I mean, even this doesn't look like a true black to me. So I think it was Eco Lifestyle that has a really good modern black color. Here we go. This should work a little bit better. I want it to be as simple as possible. And then on top of here, a very modern thing people are doing these days is putting like a green roof on. Or you can just keep it simple with a black roof. Another thing you can do is just use like sheeted metal roof. That's pretty simple as well. Can't really go wrong with that. And I just realized I accidentally got rid of my brick here. So like I said, with the windows earlier, we wanna go with clean and basic doors and windows. So try and get something really simple or geometric. Like something like this would probably work because it blends in nicely. And then window wise, I might actually do white windows on the white areas of the build and black windows on the black areas of the build. You can definitely experiment with different sizes if you want to. If you want to put like little windows in, you can do that. But the general idea is just to keep it as simple as possible. In terms of floor plans, um, a lot of traditional homes will have more rooms and corridors because it's just a little bit more detailed and more archways and things like that. Modern homes are often very spacious, open plan living. So you kind of want to make as small amount of rooms as possible if you want to go with that open plan living look or at least keep it very geometric and simple so for this home we might want to have the kitchen over here we'll do like say kitchen dining maybe a little lounge room here this would make a great little study nook or maybe a piece of the bathroom and over here could be the bedroom a nice tip that i like to use when furnishing a house is to just use placeholder furniture to figure out how much you can fit into different rooms and how much space you're going to need. So for example, to fit a double bed into my master bedroom, I can see this isn't enough room. So I know to bring this uh, wall back one. I think this is a perfect spot for a bathroom since placing this furniture. So this bathroom is going to double up as an ensuite and I want to keep the living space as big as possible. So I'm just going to build it in like this. And I think I can even put a built-in wardrobe over here. So this is pretty much my floor plan. It's very simple. One of my favorite modern wallpapers to use is this gray one here, plain but pretty. Works a charm. And unfortunately, because this bedroom is sharing all of these windows, I'm gonna have to pick a color. So it looks like we're going with black windows over here as well. For flooring, I mean, dark gray carpets. A modern, I mean, obviously you're not gonna use something ornamental like this, cause this is very traditional looking. So just keep it plain. I like to use a dark gray. You can use concrete tiles that are clean looking, floorboards that are clean looking for the living space and bathroom. I'm gonna use some cats and dogs uh, sloppy paint floorboards. I was gonna put it all through the, the living area. And then in the bathroom, I'm gonna keep it as concrete. In terms of lighting, I like to use the super subtle saucer light cause it's kind of like a modern downlight. And I like the rooms to be bright in a modern home. So I'm gonna place those around. I might change this little window to a window like this. So let's start with the kitchen. Let's put the the kitchen just over here. Again, pick a counter that's going to be really simple. Uh, you can download options that are custom content because the game does lack basic looking counters. Or there's this one, which is quite a good one from Island uh, Living. I might just go with a basic black kitchen today. Right now, the whole trending thing is black fittings in kitchens or black kitchens are pretty popular as well. So even if you do like a white kitchen using a black sink or a gold sink will come across as being contemporary because it's what's on trend. I'm actually gonna replace this window here because it was cutting into my window counter and maybe put some of these square windows around the side here because they're quite geometric looking. And then to have a little bit of fun inside, what we could do is just recycle what we've used on the outside to keep it really simple in the kitchen with this white brick or we could have put some like modern simple tiles in there. Let's pick a little modern dining table to put it to put in the corner here. So let's continue with our really basic 
furniture, geometric, square shapes, things like glass are modern, no patterns, simple shapes, for example. This can be made to look kind of modern in the kitchen that we have, but Usually you'd call this as a more traditional chair. A more modern chair would be a simple version of this. So like this chair, see it doesn't have all like the curves and the ornamental bits to it. It's just a little bit more squared off and simple. So let's use these chairs. In terms of the color scheme, I'm just keeping it really simple with light woods, white and black. You could add in an accent color as well, um, but try and not add too many colors to the mix. I'm gonna pick some basic doors that fit into a very simple color scheme. So we'll just add black doors, or if it's looking a bit too much, we could just go white doors. And I wanna create a little lounge room here. Again, something like this with a lot of curves on it might be seen as more traditional typically. So a better choice for a couch would be something that's more simplified. This is where we can add in a little pop of color or, or in a rug or something like that. Usually one piece of furniture for me will decide what extra colors are going to be in the room, but say the wallpaper and all of the other furniture in the room is gonna be pretty neutral. So if we choose say this couch is a neutral couch because it's white. It's got legs that match our flooring, but then it's got a pop of color being the purple and the orange. That means over here, we could actually mirror one of these colors. So we could filter our game here to only show orange wallpapers and we could put an orange wallpaper in and see how that ties in pretty perfectly with our cushions. And then that can be our little accent color for our study nook. I think we should move our windows across because right now our little TV cabinet's got, not gonna fit in. So I could either move those across or maybe I can just, you know, add a window to the side of this one. It still keeps it really simple. See what I mean? Like it's always kind of like a grid. Even these bricks over here are like a grid or subway bricks. So we might choose just a white shelf because it ties in with the white on the wall, the white on the couch, the white here. Now if I put, uh, say, this rug in, it actually kind of works because you can see it's tying in the whites uh, the oranges here. So a rug like that could work if we wanted a really bright house. Same goes for this rug because it ties into the orange. So we can probably get away with this just because we made orange an accent color and that's gonna bring a lot of brightness into the room. Uh, but you can see how the first item that we picked to have our accent color has led uh, the rest of the room to kind of tie in with it. So we just wanna kind of match it all and keep it very tight and simple. Another good way to work is by adding things from the same pack because you know that they're usually gonna be able to go together. So for example, we're using a lot of items from Tiny Living because of this table right here and this TV cabinet here. And then I might even use a Tiny Living item here as our desk. This is a Tiny Living desk right here. And I wonder if there's also a bookshelf we can use. Here we go, these will go nicely. Even the colors on here, I think is just making the house look a little bit too complicated. So I'm either gonna go with just a really easy wood color, black or white. I feel like there should be a rug under this dining table. So I've actually found this circular blue rug because it pretty much ties in with the blue in the rug or in the lounge room. So I know that's gonna work there. Or I could just match it to the neutral color in the rug as well. For the bedroom, I'm going to go with more of a monochromatic palette. So just focusing on black, gray, and white to keep it like ultra modern and simple. So uh, I've also repeated this brick wall that was outside into this room and that's also in the kitchen. Or otherwise what might be nice is to repeat this, um, these slats over here to create that kind of a look. I mean, it's really up to you, but repetition often works really well in these types of modern builds. In terms of curtains, uh, again, I wouldn't go for something decorative like this. Best to keep it really clean. I mean, this is a good option as a clean type of thing to put in the room, except it's cream and gold, so it doesn't really go with our monochromatic theme. I personally really like my first pet stuff curtains because there's a nice gray color here that's really simple. So I might do that in the bedroom and the bathroom for privacy. And look, if you felt like the monochromatic look was a little too bland, uh, maybe we could inject a little bit of color using um, some lampshades. So maybe a blue or a yellow could be nice to brighten up the space a bit. 
Uh, and also one of these cutie mirrors are nice as well because they have a little bit of color, but not too much. Although actually I don't really know if there's a, really a spot in here where it sits. If we can put that in the lounge room here. Or if we can find a simple piece of artwork that ties in the color yellow and maybe introduces some others, that would work as well. It doesn't have to be as obvious as mostly a yellow piece of artwork, just something that has yellow in it. So even something like this is quite good because it's got a lot of black, but then it's got the yellow to tie in and the blue. Another easy way to add color into a room is to have greenery. So things like little plants with bright colored pots. They're gonna bring some color in or even like a modern lights coming down. Like this lamp, I think this was from the bowling stuff back. You could kind of have a hanging pendant that ties into the other pendant. You can break the rules a little bit. I can just have one that blends into the rest of the room. Or I could have them symmetrical as well. And we could use a bright ottoman instead. Okay, now that we have a very basic bedroom and you've learned different ways of how you can tie in color and introduce color into a room, uh, let's move on to the bathroom, which is looking very gray. Now bathrooms are easy because they can be as as plain and minimal as you like, probably more so than any other room. So often I'll just go for like plain white tiles and a white tile floor. But if you wanna make it look a little bit more dynamic, you know, you can have tiles only on certain walls. You can introduce like a fun rug near the bathtub or colored towels, feature walls, feature tiles. Um, but in terms of the actual plumbing in the room, I would keep it very simple again. Don't use like ornamental toilets, such as this one is a definite no-no <laughs> for a modern build. Even this one's too detailed. Um, I just pick something like this. You can even have fun with black fittings, but that's not really everyone's taste. I'm just going to move the door slightly over because I didn't really have enough room to fit the toilet in here. So I'll put the toilet there and then I'm going to box a shower into here. I like using the spa day shower for these like boxed in spots. Uh, and see how the shower is actually black? Maybe we can simplify it by having black tiles around it like this. So instead of the white, we're going black now. And you can even put like black and white tiles together. You know, that kind of works as well. I'd even make the mirror black to tie in with the black wall. Uh, so maybe what I'll do is get rid of this window here. Actually, the only problem with this mirror is it's really high up on the wall. And like I said earlier, we can use timber colors in here to make it look a little bit more interesting, or we can use like one of these little rugs as a bath mat. I even just tuck half of it under the shower, to be honest. And there we go. Last of all, to finish off our modern house, we might wanna do some really basic modern landscaping. Again, when it comes to the landscaping, I would just go with simple, kind of more square looking shapes. So this bush is a really good one from the base game. The thing is you can build a modern house around any kind of tree. So whatever trees you use, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to have a modern tree. For modern landscaping, I think I, for some reason I always go for tropical plants, which you definitely don't have to do for a modern build, but I'll often go for some more tropical plants and I'll space them apart a bit more. Some basic gravel at the front. So I'm just gonna kind of fade it out. Do some dirt patches under our plants and under our trees to make it look a little bit more realistic. This little ledge bit over here, you can use this as a spot for lighting. I really like putting these floor lights in, which aren't something you would see in a traditional house build, but of course with modern builds, you can break tradition and just make it look interesting. Maybe we'll just have a bit of fun with that and put some lights in like this. And last of all, if you felt like this was too basic and you wanted to maybe add something a little bit more interesting, another thing I love to use on my modern houses actually come from City Living. And they're these slate tiles. They're just like vertical pillars. Again, going with that kind of geometric look. But they're a really good way to kind of add privacy to windows that are really open. Uh, you can also use them as fencing at the front or to the side of the house. Or if you wanted to kind of hide your outdoor bin, you can use those as well or to like section off the edge of a balcony so your sim can't fall off i wish sims could fall off balconies uh, but maybe we could make like a little seating area over here or barbecue area it's just all about keeping it geometric and simple so this is our final house this is our little modern building uh let me know if you had a go at it but i think it's pretty cute it's very simple a good way to learn hopefully you've learned a few tricks from it so let's go for a little tour 
I've also just realized I forgot a mailbox. Don't forget a mailbox. <laughs> so let's go inside our door and it's a very small home, but I would definitely describe this as modern. You've got to get a little lounge room. It's a very minimal palette. Lots of natural light. It's an open plan living, even though it is small. And we have our very simple bedroom in here. Clean and nice. I mean, I'd like to live here. Little office area. And then our bathroom in here with the big mirror. Small, got a bit of privacy in there. You could even put grass on that ledge and some plants. And there you go. Let me know how you went. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you want any other tutorials. And I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're on the world. I'll speak to you soon. Dag dag.